started on my hair here is what the back looks like um, I actually don't know what I'm doing yet but <laughs> I'm gonna do a crochet style and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the top um, because I don't have no hair that matches this I don't even know what color you would even call this. Um, so I'm like, I could just do a top knot, but then you see how you can see that up there? It would be unrealistic for me to wrap it in only this color. So I'm just gonna put this up for now and figure this out later and get started on the back. I have, go ahead and prepped my Marley hair and I just took maybe like two or three pieces and wrapped it around perm rods on each end. Oh, and this is what the curls look like. I'm gonna separate them and start crocheting them in my hair. If you've been following me or subscribed to me for a while, you know I don't really care for super defined hair which is why I added two to three pieces on each of the perm rods. Um, Cause I just want, you know, I want a little bit of curl, but I want it, I like, I like, I like frizz. Oh, it actually is not Marley hair, it's Cuban twist. And the color I got is 350 per usual. Um, I think Cuban twist is a little bit thicker, coarser than Marley hair. Um, and that's what I was going for. So it's not Marley hair, but if you can find like a Cuban twist, then that's what I got. Or if you like Marley hair, then use that too. But I just have this and I'm gonna just start crocheting. Here's my hair. I'm just start crocheting in the back. Um, put it through the hair. Make sure the needle stays closed. Put it through the hair. Hmm. All right, y'all, rookie mistake. You put the loop through your hair first. Oof. Right? You find the loop, put it on the hook, then you make sure it's closed. And when you bring it through, boom, you have a loop. You tie it. Right? Boom. You put the hook through the hair. Put the hair in the loop. Close it. Pull it through and you have a loop and then you pull the hair through the loop. Where's the hair? Okay. Wait, where's the hair? Okay, here we go. And obviously this doesn't have to be perfect because nobody is gonna see your roots because you are gonna have the Marley hair on there or your Cuban twist hair. And that's another reason why I wanted it to, the hair to actually be thick so that it can cover any imperfections.
forgot to mention that I am um, separating them because I feel like it'll it'll look more even and more full. So instead of using the big pieces that I have, I'm splitting them in half so that it just looks more natural and it'll blend better. Also, your braids should kind of be a little bit close. If not, it's going to be too far apart and you're kind of going to be able to tell. So kind of put your braids a little bit close together. Um, and as you can see, it's a little bit uneven right now, but obviously I'm going to go back and adjust it trim it shape it up and i'll probably dip it um one more time so we'll see okay so this is what one pack looks like i still have quite a bit up here well not a quite a bit but i still got a few to fill in hopefully y'all can see that um so i'm gonna just show you how i did the curls here's what the hair looks like see how thick and full it is okay so once it's cut it's gonna look like this and then i'm gonna pick two pieces and start on one end and just start wrapping it around now you want to okay i'm gonna start from this end so you want to twist 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 that way the curls will look more like a corkscrew and not just like a regular roller i don't know if that makes sense but just twist it if you want the curls like this just twist it and then the other end i'm gonna do the exact same thing let's start on this end because I'm right handed and twist, 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 twist. And once I'm done with this, I'm just going to drop these in some hot water. It don't have our boiling water. It doesn't have to be um, for long. I just kind of make sure all the hair is saturated. Maybe for maybe for a minute. Um, don't have to be nothing crazy. But yeah, I'm just gonna do these. And once I'm done, dip it, wrap it in a towel, and then I'm gonna finish. Okay. All right, so I'm done with the back. And I'm gonna just tease these roots a little bit, these knots so that it don't show. Alrighty, and this is what the back look like.
make three braids and I'm gonna just put the sides up and I probably am just gonna put it up in a ponytail I'm trying to figure out if I want an actual ponytail or if I just want to do like a bun I'm using this Eden Body Works oh my gosh where is it Eden Body Works leave-in conditioner um and just kind of moisturize my hair I'm feeling so dizzy right now. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> oh, that did good. Wow. The only thing is this hair don't really match. My hair is a lot more vibrant and this this 350 is kind of dull. On camera it looks fine, but in person, my hair is definitely more vibrant and the mar the Cuban hair, the 350 is just a little bit dull. If they would have had a copper, cause sometimes they have copper and it's a little bit more orangey. Um, but to be honest, every brand looks a little bit different, so. And I didn't see a copper in this brand, so. And I'm gonna go to the beauty supply store because I do want to get something to match this. I just needed to get my foundation right. So with these edges. Now, I'm gonna put y'all on an edge control. Don't y'all sell it out now. Cause when I come back to it, I want to be able to buy it. Oh my gosh, what's my, uh, here it is. It's called Gummy Professional and it is a styling wax. I got it off of Amazon and it's the best edge control I've ever used, ever. And it's not even an edge control, but I use it as an edge control. Um, it stays in place all day my hair i've tried every type all the types that the girls be recommending for full type four hair and they don't work so and i'm pretty sure i talked about edge booster on here on my channel before um i guess that was the best one for the time but baby this is much better i never have to it doesn't get white it's literally what anything that you want in an edge control. It doesn't get white. It actually softens up, but the hair stays in that same place. So never seen anything like it, especially for my edges that love to revert. Um, yeah, I've never seen anything like it, like ever. So you're welcome. You're welcome. I truly don't know but I'm gonna try to match it the best way I can and I'll be back so I think I did a pretty good job mixing for this color right here so this is what it looks like it's a little look how good I did it looks a little brighter on camera but oh let me turn this light on it looks a little brighter on camera but it matches pretty good, right, right, right? So I did kind of the same thing because this is braiding hair and I had to do a whole bunch of mixing. And these are the colors that I used. So there's a yellow in there, there's the 350, there's an orange, and then there's a 613. Um, all braiding hair. And I kind of, I had to improvise because they don't have a color that looks like this. So, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna just do some cute little space buns um little curly space buns so I already have my Marley hair that is like sectioned off and I'm gonna need just a little bit to kind of swirl it in on this side and then obviously it'll just wrap on this side ah oh, so cute Oh, and look how cute that turned out. Very, very cute. 
Oh yeah, that's so cute. Okay. So here's what we got. I wonder if I should twist. No, let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm gonna twist it in there. Wrap this around. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. I separated the hair and I'm kind of just twisting it in. And then I'm gonna do like a twist so that my hair can be in the mix, you see? Yeah. And I'm twisting both sections and then twisting it together. So twist, 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 twist. Right, and then I'm gonna wrap this around. So I can have some relief overnight to sleep and then it's pretty easy to just twist it back in there and wrap it around so I have to make sure it's the same size so I'm gonna do three pieces and again I'm just gonna separate these two sections so it's two twist it in there and then twist this one Twist them together. Right? And then I'm gonna start wrapping it around. Gee, it turned out super cute. Overall, this was super cute. The longest part for me was trying to make this match this. Um, but everything else was pretty simple. Just two or three braids. You can customize it however you want to customize it. Um, I don't even feel like I need to trim anything right now. I think it's pretty good. I don't, I don't mind the frizz again. Um, this is just a cute, simple style. If you're trying to go somewhere really quick or, um, you know, you got an event or something to go to. This is just a super quick little hairstyle and it doesn't look like it's a quick hairstyle, you know? And it's pretty affordable and I'm impressed. Let me know what you think and I'll see y'all in my next video. I love y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and yeah, I'll see y'all next time.